Well, welcome to another video. And yet again, I'm tench fishing, and uh, I'm on my local club lake, a little gravel pit. And uh, yeah, it's uh, what is it? Six o'clock time in the evening. I'm here until tomorrow evening, late night. I'll be leaving, packing up, and leaving in the dark tomorrow evening. And uh, what have I done? I've uh, just cleared up the spot that I fished last week a little bit with a castable rake. Just four or five casts on each spot, just to you know freshen things up a little bit, just to get uh, cloud, the cloud rising in the water, and to get the little bugs and things that are in the uh, in the water uh, suspended and uh, spawned a bit of bait out. Uh, not too much, but the usual uh, micro pellets and. Uh, some casters, some dead maggots, just small particles basically. And I've uh, put the uh, worm kebab rigs on heli, heli rigs over the two spots. And the two spots I'm fishing have got, I don't know, maybe two metres of space between the two of them. And I've kind of spawned uh, in a line. So the idea is that hopefully the fish will turn up from either end of that line of bait and they'll work their way along. But uh, that is just theory. Let's hope, hope that we uh, can put it into practice and it, and it works. So let's see how it goes, shall we? about quarter to ten and I've had my first bite I've had a few liners but I've had my first bite and I've landed my first tench it's a male that's a lovely lovely fish that there we go it's a six pound ten put up a good scrap on the tench gear as male tench often do on the worm kebab that is Lovely job. Let's, uh, let's put him back and uh, get those rods out again and uh, hopefully we'll get a few more. Interesting though that it's uh, come after dark. Lovely job though, eh? There we go, sink the net. And off he goes. So it's uh, 6.30 now. No more action through the night, other than a few liners. But then I did have a uh, run at 5.30 this morning and I lost the fish, a uh, couple of the rod lengths out. That was obviously <laughs> very frustrating. It just weeded me in a dense weed bed to the right. Um, but got the rods back out on the uh, the spot again. I've uh, just spawned out a little bit more bait now. I always like to wake up and just give it a, an hour, hour and a half, and before baiting up, I recast the rods just to get some uh, fresh worm smell in the water, but without disturbing the swim too much. And that's what got me the bite. I literally sort of, I don't know, less than 10 minutes after recasting my rod without putting any spawned bait over the top. I got that run. But I gave it a, a, a couple of hours and uh, because I've just put the bait out, recast the rods and uh, it's a lovely morning. Hopefully I'm not gonna rue that last lost fish and uh, we'll get a few more during the day. I've got uh, Simon coming down to join me at some point this afternoon, early afternoon, and we're both got, then going to fish into the uh, into the dark and uh, then go home. I was planning on uh, staying out tonight as well, but the forecast tomorrow, for tomorrow is just atrocious: high winds, uh, heavy rain all day. So I'd much rather just pack up and. Uh, I don't have to deal with all the wet kit when I get home. So, you know, still got a full day. Baits are out there. Over a freshly uh, baited spot and uh, 
I think it's time for a sausage sandwich. So this is uh, the margin in front of me, but it's essentially the sort of bottom that I'm going to be fishing over. There's a covering of, of a Canadian pond weed, and then there'll be bearer patches where I've raked with the uh, castable rake, and uh, that's what I'm fishing on. I'm clipping up using microelastic. It's the same number of wraps that I uh, clipped up when I was raking. So I'm really sure that I'm, you know, I'm hitting the uh, the rake spots amongst the weed. But the heli rigs come into their own in this kind of situation because if you do just get off the edge of those uh, clearer patches, your hook bait's going to still be fishing. And actually, sometimes I like to take a step forward or a step back when I cast, just so I'm actually fishing on the edge of the spot. So I find that sometimes that might pick up the odd uh, extra fish. Well, we've got another one in the net. Another feisty one. But I'm glad I got another chance anyway. Let's have a look. Another male. This is a right old scrapper. It's uh, five pounds six ounces. Worm kebab again. Just off the edge of the spot this time. But yeah, lovely. Another beautiful fish. This one's actually quite distinctive because it's got a black marking on the wrist of its tail. Let's see if I can show you it. Just there. See, just up here. And uh, That means I'll be able to recognise it if I catch him again. Well, we've got another one, it looks slightly better. Again, it weirded me in the, uh, there's a snag about a rod length and a half out. And again, it weirded me just as I was sort of getting the net in the water to, un to, uh, to land it. But uh, this time, although it did uh, weed me pretty solid, I uh, kept the pressure on but steady pressure and then just sort of walked around moving my rod around get changing the angle and eventually it popped out with with a bit of the weed and uh yeah lovely fish let's uh weigh her and uh get a decent picture worm kebab again it's probably about one o'clock in the afternoon now so they're not prolific but uh they're still out there well that was a 6 15. so it's the uh little leech on it. That's the, uh, the best one I've had so far this season. Which is great. And it is a lovely fish. Let's just show you it quickly. There we go, look. 
lovely, lovely tinker. This one's got a bit more weight to it than the two males. So, quite a nice, healthy looking fish, this one. But chuffed to bits. Third fish of the session. Still plenty more time to get a, a few more, hopefully. Lovely day. Well, that's number four in the net. Let's take a look at him. Feisty male. This one's a five pounder. Five pound six. I think one of the other ones I had. It's five six, isn't it? Um, continue to catch them on the worm kebab. There's quite a long wait between bites, I have to say. Look at the, look at the fins on that bad boy. Yeah, I mean, he fought really hard as well. I mean, look at him, he's bristling. He's not happy at all, but his fins are huge. What a lovely fish. Again, lovely dark color that you get here on this, on this little pit. Really love it here. Quality of tench fishing is lovely. Just like to get a few bigger ones now. But let's put him back. Fish number four, lovely job. Well, it must be, I don't know, 10 minutes after that last fish, and I've got another one in the net, another male. And uh, again, put up a good old scrap. So uh, let's get him out, unhook him, take a photo and put him back again. Fish number five though, lovely job, very really nice. There you go, smallest of the session. They've got a count of itself though. And uh, came very quickly after the other fish, so uh, hopefully we've got a little shoal of them up there now feeding. And that was from the other rod, so you know they're feeding on both spots that I've got. So let's put this one back. I'm not going to weigh this one, as you can see, it's uh, not very big, but um, it's always a pleasure to catch a tench. And, uh, Number five, worm heli rig again. Lovely. So those of you familiar with tench fishing all know this is a very, very familiar problem. They love their weed. They live in the weed, they feed in the weed, and they'll do their very best to lose you and to, to throw the hook in the weed as well. So you've got to be geared up to, to deal with that if you're fishing at a weedy venue. Don't just uh, pick the line based on uh, how big you think the fish are going to be. Think about the conditions as well. I've got a rotten bottom on uh, my feeder, part of the heli rig. So if it does get snagged, at least I can pull for a break and the feeder will drop, but I'll uh, safely be able to land the fish. Um, always try to fish safe rigs, especially in weed like this. So it's just started to uh, rain a little bit, which wasn't on the forecast. That's annoying because I've put my bivvy away and I haven't got a brolly with me. So hopefully it's just going to be very passing, fleeting shower. Um, but it doesn't seem to be affecting the fishing at all. It's uh, going, going all right so far. I'd like bigger fish, to be honest, but it's that funny sort of early time in the season where... Uh, the fish I'm catching are pretty hollow, to be honest. Um, I think they got a bit more feeding to do. Got a bit more weight on. It's just my keenness to go tench fishing as soon as the rivers finish. I, uh, I'm itching to get out and uh, catch a few tench. But I'm glad I came out. Five fish so far. Chance of a few more. Got Simon turning up at some point in the next couple of hours. So it'll be nice to have a bit of company for a few hours. And uh, it'll be nice to have a few more fish. All right, well, fish number six. And uh, I haven't made it yet, but I will do. There we go. Ooh. It's probably, I don't know, what is it, four pounds? Four pound maybe. Oh, slippery bugger, aren't they? Especially when they're sort of uh, a bit lively still. Oh, oh, got him, got him. <laughs> Let's put him back anyway because he's obviously flapping around.
Getting more liners, I think. There's clearly a group of fish out there though. I've had three in quite short time and I'm getting liners as well. I don't think they really like the spawning. I th normally it takes a couple of hours before they come back after spawning. And as long as the birds aren't feeding on your spot, which they haven't been, you can play the waiting game and they'll, they'll come back. And now, that, now that things are warming up as well, I think they're actively feeding a lot more than they were a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, I mean, that was, that was a liner, I would say. But hopefully there's more to come. Hopefully Simon's not going to miss out on all of this fun and get down here soon. Well, got another one. It's uh, 611. There we go, lovely fish. Beautiful. Put on a good scrap again. Worm kebab again. Same spot again. Just being really cautious with the baiting, they don't seem to like it. It takes a bit of time for them to come back, so patience is needed. But they're out there, and they are definitely starting to feed. Fish number seven, what a corker. Chat with Simon is <laughs> now down. Not a nice looking fish, though. Good looking fish. Yay. Another one in the net. Well, tench number eight. And it's uh, £6.14. Another one that put up a good account of itself. Another lovely fish though, they're really crackers in this lake. Look at that, beautiful fish. I'm doing something right today, God. Lovely job. Let's put it back, shall we? So it's about nine o'clock now, and uh, obviously we're losing the light. I've still got both rods out, um, but I've decided it is the last cast of the evening for both of those two rods. Uh, probably give it another, I don't know, 45 minutes, hour, something like that, and uh, then go home. But what a cracking day. Well, 24 hours. Eight fish, uh, a few sort of high sixes. Uh, you know, would have been pushing it on this venue to expect much more than that, to be honest, at this time of year. But um, yeah, great session. Worm kebab doing the business again. It's just such a great rig uh, for tench fishing and uh, especially for these uh, clear weedy pits. It, it uh, works a treat. If you haven't tried it, I'd, I'd highly recommend it. Check out um, Di Gribble's video on YouTube. Uh, he explains in detail how it, how it works. And frankly, if it's good for Di Gribble, it's uh, good enough for me. And uh, yeah, it catches me a lot of fish now. Uh, it's my primary tench rig, I'd say. But uh, yeah, look out for other videos in the uh, coming weeks. I've got a bit more tench fishing to do. Uh, not sure I'll be getting out for any uh, evening sessions for a while, but uh, I've got a few uh, tench fisher fish-ins to fish on uh, Fox Pool and Barbara. So uh, I'll probably get a little bit of footage from uh, both of those events. But uh, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you uh, enjoyed what you saw. 
and uh, hopefully I'll catch up again sometime soon. Cheers.